Okay, so here is this GPS controlled car. It started as a Hobby King Desert Fox. Um, <clears throat> the main things that I've had to add to it is this uh, right here. This is a, a compass, a little magnetometer. I, I've moved it all over the place, and right now is the first time where I'm starting to feel like it's outside apparently the magnetic field of the motor or the, I don't know which components, but it's finally starting to work a little more reasonable. I added a little LCD screen back here just for uh, debugging purposes. It's not necessary to it, but it sure makes life a lot easier. Um, I added some <coughs> LEDs. The, the, this, uh, this thing came with uh, you know, LED buckets, and so I added some LEDs to give me some different status updates. And then inside here is the big thing. It's this uh, circuit board with an Arduino. So you have the Arduino right here, and then the, all the circuit board. There's some s space for some additional things, some uh, FPV camera and a telemetry module. Um, and then up here is a U-Block 6 GPS unit with the antenna sitting up there. Uh, got that kind of cool little plastomorph or whatever it is from Amazon that goes through just kind of, you put the pellets in the hot water and it melts and you can form it to there, so that's holding on to that pretty well. Um, so what happens is in advance you can uh, program um, GPS coordinates and it'll go to those coordinates. Um, so here's my radio. The, the trick is, is I have on the third channel right here, I have that set. If I flip the third channel then it will go into drive to the GPS location. And once it gets to the GPS location it flashes like that. But this is, this is a flash of proximity sensors. There's a proximity sensor right here. That's a flash that the, something is too close. So you'll see when it gets back further away from me, it stops flashing, I believe. Yeah. Um, it'll flash faster if it's, a, if it's gotten within a meter of the GPS coordinates. Um, but what I'm going to do is I also put a little button. I don't know, it's going to be hard to see this. But I put a little button right here on... If I can get my finger past there. Right here on the circuit board. And that sets the GPS coordinates. So boom. I just set the GPS coordinates to right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uh, car, or my radio, I'm going to drive this out a little ways, and then I'm going to flip my switch right here. So I'm going to flip, so let's see if I flip this switch, and it'll kick into automatic, oh, and it should come back, and then once the lights start flashing on there, it's going to roll back, roll back, there we go. Once the light starts flashing, it means it thinks it's within a meter. So this GPS is uh, wanders, quite frankly. It wanders quite a bit, but it gets you in the ballpark. Um, so I flip that switch again, so now I can drive. So I'm going to drive over here and do a little bit of experiment. I tried to set up... It's not really smart obstacle avoidance yet, but it's just uh, if there's something in the way, stop trying. So if I flip this switch, then it should start driving towards me. Oh, and it just happened to not run into the curb, which is convenient. Um, and now it thinks it's within a meter, which is actually reasonable. Uh, oh, now it thinks it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can go I'll drive into something that... Uh, drive into something that is uh, um, too close. I'll just face it at a curb over here. So there we go. When I uh, flip the switch, boom, it should go, and it just stops. So instead of just plowing into it full speed, it just stops. So then I can switch back and control it, and then, oops, flip the switch again, push the wrong switch, and then, uh, okay, it stops again. It's try it, I make no effort to make smart decisions, it's just kind of the straight line to the there we go, now it's on the GPS control, and as long as there's not something in the way, it seems to go to the spot. You'll notice it's moved a little bit, because the GPS itself moves a little bit. And it's a sensorless motor, so it cogs a little bit when it tries to give it a little bit of speed, but there you go.